Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 31 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, where I'm just hanging out in my windmill. I'm proud of it. You know, I had a few good comments come back. Uh, lots of people had lots of positive things to say, which I was happy to see. I think you all uh, have set expectations for Dyer, including that he occasionally derps and makes his windmill one too long on the top. Everybody commented on this one. I think I made these sales 12 instead of instead of instead of 11 on the top so that was cool <laughs> sorry about that so i'm fixing it on camera for all of you who were very concerned about that oh and i forgot i turned my magnet off because i was playing with things come here you guys thank you um so white sales check ready to roll uh what i was thinking i'd like to do today uh would be to create a cobble gen uh, I think that would be cool. I'd like to set up using create and vanilla mechanics only uh, a cobble gen that will uh, generate the following resources. Cobblestone, gravel, sand, stone, glass, and clay. Sound like fun? Maybe? I think that could be cool. Um, however, in order to do that, in order to do precisely that, uh, we're going to need a crushing wheel from create. And these guys require mechanical crafters in order to make. Mechanical crafters are really cool, and it's a neat way to make things uh, with Create. So we're going to, today, work on getting mechanical crafters, make ourselves a crushing wheel, and probably start, maybe finish, maybe not, uh, a cobble gen that will make all these resources for us pretty much infinitely. Because gravel we can crush from cobblestone, sand we can crush from gravel, Okay, uh, and then smooth stone we can smelt using the encased fans in front of lava mechanic, and the same for glass. And then finally clay you can use encased fans in front of uh, water using sand. So we will basically take the cobblestone and split it multiple ways and get gravel and then get sand and then get stone and then get glass and then get clay. I haven't entirely figured out in my brain how that's gonna work, um, because like we're gonna we're gonna want the gravel to go into like half of them go into a drawer and then the other half turn into sand maybe, um, and we're so we're gonna either need two crushing wheels or we're gonna have to loop it back to the original crushing wheel. So I'll have to figure that out. Um, but that's the gist of the plan. Probably loop it back to the original crushing wheel. I'll probably want one crushing wheel because they require a lot of stress. A lot, a lot of stress. So just keep that in mind. So let's get started with mechanical crafting because that's the only way to make uh, the, the crushing wheel, right? So we're going to want mechanical crafters. Uh, I'm, I'm going to probably teach you how to make these. And one thing I really, really, really want to figure out is how I'm going to um, automate the electron tubes as well, right? Because um, if we want, roughly speaking, 21 of these mechanical crafters, because that is what we need. Do we have the stuff for that? We do. We do. But we're going to be short on, on polished rose quartz pretty soon, um, which is a bummer. Wow, are you, like, already done? Wow, that was quick. <laughs> nice. All right, so mechanical crafters. Uh, I'm going to set it up here-ish, I think. Because that looks pretty cool. Um, and the way these work is you'll notice that there's gears inside them, like so. And those gears are going to need to all turn together to make the thing that we want to make, right? Uh, now, what did I make? 21 of these? I kind of think I should have made 25, maybe. Yeah, 25 mechanical crafters should have been... Should have been the better route for me. Now that means I definitely am not having enough rose quartz. So let's try the deployer. Did we did we teach you how to make deployers? And if not, why not? Why why would I not teach you to make deployers? Because that seems like the kind of thing that I should be that I should be teaching. We well we know now, right? And we should have enough to make one deployer. So I want to try this out because I'm not super sure how this is going to work, right? Um, but if we had the sandpaper that we need, and I might need to teach you how to make sandpaper. And we had some rose quartz stuff. Let me get like 10 of those. 
because that's just, you know, easy to make. Super easy, redstone and quartz. I'm gonna pop you over here for a minute. This is a nice little testing area. So if I do that and I were to give you sandpaper, can I, can I give you sandpaper? Oh, no, okay. There you go, sweet. And then if I were to drop rose quartz in the ground in front of you, yeah. How exactly, pray tell, could I automate rose quartz? Because I would hope that that would do something, right? Do you need a redstone signal or something? Like, what makes you spin? Don't you have the, the necessaries or no? Do you need a gear? Oh, I see. Your thing is that way. Okay. Uh, that's a vertical. My bad. I wanted a normal gearbox there. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Oh, hello. That's cool. You don't say. So I could set that up. I could definitely set that up. Now here's another question. Here's another question, right? Here's another question, hang on. Uh, you going there and you going there again. If I wanted to exporter you, right? And what I'm gonna do is get sandpaper and get a crafter card. Missing pink slime. Do we not have any slime? I hope that's not true. Oh, we might not have any slime. To do, figure out slime. Uh, cactus in the thing equals slime, right? How am I for cactus? I mean, I can get more, right? But slime, all the automations that need to happen. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Dough and, okay, that's cool to know that there's a slime recipe there. Uh, other than that, not a lot of options. So I'm thinking we'll go the mana infusion rate. Did I do alchemy catalyst yet? I don't think I set one of those up. I need to get this because I need to get this. So we're gonna need two brewing stands and a mana pearl. Do we really not have any living wood and living stone, I mean? Where's some over here? Ah, there's some here, but not as much as I need by one. Because that's the situation we find ourselves in. Cool. Okay. Wow, do I really have 1.2k stone? That's kind of cool. I was not aware of that. All right, so Alchemy Catalyst. For those of you unfamiliar with Batania, goes underneath your mana pool, and then you can use it to do stuff like that. Cool? Cool. All right, so I was doing a, what was I doing, a crafter upgrade? Yes, beautiful. Sweet. So now back to you. Can I export bus into you a sandpaper using the crafter upgrade? Is that possible? And this is just testing, obviously. This isn't where I'm gonna build this. But automating this thing would be cool. Ah ha ha! Nice. So that's what we do. That's what we do, okay? Um, that's what we do. We're gonna set that up like that. And then uh, I'm going to assume then that I can do this on a belt. Right? In theory. Uh, let's, let's just validate that real quick to be sure. Sure, it doesn't matter. And then he may need to be down one or the belt needs to be up one. So let's just... Uh, Let's just make that happen real quick because I just want to test this and be sure that I'm correct. I think this will work. 
Cool. And then I just give you the sandpaper. And will you... Maybe not. Huh. Maybe not. What if, just as a test... Oh, hang on. No, wait. It's working. Did it work? I think it worked. Yeah, it's totally working. Nice. We just need it to make sure to get hit. Yes, it's just the timing of it is important. The timing of it is important. So we'll either want to slow this down or make sure that it's like we have a, we have like the, the end of the thing is here, right? Hang on. So like if we did this instead. Okay. As long as the end is there, you're cool. Right, because you want the you need the hand to hit it at the right timing. Got it. Okay, cool. All right, so let's break all this up and decide where I want this to actually live. Uh, let's see. That is a good question, my friends. All right, so here's my thoughts. You ready? We can put an interface here. We can put a chest here. Okay. We will have an andesite funnel here. And we will use the brass funnel on the other side. Okay. Cool. And then I'm thinking we want the deployer to be like here. Does that seem reasonable? I think that seems right. And then you just need to be connected up properly. So what if we did this, vertical, vertical, like so, would that be cool? And then we give you sandpaper, and I'll have to export bus you in a sec, but yes, there you are, right? Actually, give me that back. I want you to be filter sandpaper okay and give me a new fresh sandpaper real quick just to be prepared for it uh, let's get our exporter set up real quick so you will go here you will get the crafter you will get that and then we will cable this cool and then the last thing we want to do is have polished rose quartz on the filter. This is why we're using a brass one here. So you only accept polished rose quartz, right? So as a demonstration, if I if I set this up correctly, right? Um, I'm gonna put this back here. I'm gonna put some this here, and they'll be stuck. They're not allowed in here until they're polished rose quartz, right? Now if I put the sandpaper in the hand. Come on, work. Don't be grumpy. Why do you not work? That should work. Shouldn't that be working? Isn't that how I had it? Does it need to be down one? Might need to be down one. I thought it was the one right above it, right? Isn't that right? I feel like that was right. I shouldn't need the sandpaper in there anymore. I thought that was right. All right, guys, I think I came up with a crazy solution. Um, so it's going to be less belt use. So I've noticed that this thing's much more reliable if it's interacting with an item in the world rather than an item on the belt. I don't know why, but like sometimes it works on belts and sometimes it doesn't. Um, and especially getting it to work adjacent to a uh, adjacent to one of these guys, a brass funnel, has not been beneficial to me. So what I did is I set up the interface underneath the brass funnel, okay? Um, and the way this is going to work is as follows. What we're going to have is some cables running down here, and that should be cool. So what's going to happen is, you ready? Uh, check this out. So if we request, uh, you know, three of these... 
That seems to be working, right? Cool? Cool? Yes, that does seem to be working. So hopefully that remains working. So what I'm using here to accomplish this, and I shouldn't have put away my dirt because I actually do need that dirt still, is the uh, precise dropper from Cyclic. Because I decided I needed to drop items in World, and I don't think there's anything in Create that does that. Unless I'm mistaken. I could be mistaken. I'm not super sure. Uh, but I set it up. I could just use like a regular dropper, a vanilla dropper, but I'd need to set up a redstone timer. And I didn't feel like doing that. So I use the precise dropper from Cyclic because two things. Number one, it's always going to drop into the same spot, whereas the vanilla dropper from vanilla Minecraft just drops in like random positions for some reason. Um, so this guy, I set him to always on. Preview, you can see where it's going to drop the item. And this is like a buffer slot for the item to sit, right? So if I did that, see how it drops the item right there. Perfect. And because we have a filter on the brass funnel, it filters what it's allowed to get. So it won't pick up the unprocessed rose quartz. It'll only pick up the processed one. And it drops it every 10 ticks, right? Uh, there's no offset. And it drops one item at a time, I guess, is what that count means. It does, unfortunately, need RF. So I just stuck my redstone flux energy cell there. I assume it just uses a little bit of RF every time it drops. So this should literally last forever. <laughs> but we'll find out. So that's that's pretty cool. So now we've got that up and running. So now I can get back to making my mechanical crafters, right? So there's a few ways you could probably accomplish that. I, I might have been doing something derpy. I wouldn't put it past me to be doing something derpy. Um... So I don't know why uh, I was having the trouble that I was having, but long story short, we will we will, we will, will not worry about that. And we'll get back to our mechanical crafter that I wanted to show you guys how to make. Because that thing's cool. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of you. Man, this, this jetpack is just fast, is what it is. This jetpack is just fast. Um, and hopefully my magnet doesn't ever cause a problem with that rose quartz, but I guess we'll find out. So you, mechanical crafter, are pretty cool. There's a few ways we can set this up, but the gist is, and again, if you saw my spotlight uh, on Create, you know how to work with this thing. Uh, the gist is, is that there's arrows on each of these crafters, and right now they're all pointing up. What you want them to do is all point and have the items that are on them flow to one specific location. Okay, so they all need to flow into one specific spot. Uh, so I want them to flow here to this chest, right? So I'm gonna rotate this so that each of these things on this row are heading to that direction. And then I'm gonna rotate these guys so that they're all down, right? So what you're gonna wind up doing is placing items on each of these mechanical crafters. And as it crafts, they're going to move, all the items that are up here are going to move down to this row. Then all the items on this row are going to move down to this one. And then move down to this one. And then move down to this one. And then they're all going to go from right to left because that's the direction the arrows are pointing. And then all the items on this big crafting section are going to eventually wind up here. And they're going to get combined. And then they're going to land in the chest. That's how it works. Cool. Now for that to work, we're going to need uh, some kind of gearing to connect with this stuff. So what I'd like to do, uh, if I may, is something like this and then this, and then we can run you guys over here. And look at that, we just happen to have, boom. Oh, we have definitely overstressed our system because each of these takes 256. So 256 times 25, you do the math. Uh, we are overstressing our system by a lot by a lot, so we wanna slow this down, right? Um, so to do that, what I can probably do is use my adjustable chain gear shifts, right? We can just slow down the things in here a little bit. So to do that, there should be a way to make this go slower, right? Can I use the adjustable chain gear shift to go slower? If we had a lever. I need that I need that wireless range to be just a little bit longer. Because hilariously, it's just not long enough. So if I do this, does it slow? It does. That's cool. That's what I want to see, right? So then we will adjustable chain gear shift you, right? Because it's important which one you give a redstone signal to, right? 
So that one should be even slower now, and you should be turning, right? Now, realistically, he doesn't super need to be that, but I'm I'm not going to be using them all that much, so I don't want to put too much stress on it, right? Um, so that's kind of cool, actually. So let's do this real quick. So that way I can cover this up with dirt and make it look nice. Yes, covering with dirt looks nice. Shh. Shh. It does. That's how it works. So now that thing should be ready to roll. Cool. So what we can do is what I'm going to do is get the things to make the create crushing wheel, right? So that's going to need a bunch of andesite alloy. Uh, I think that's just basically smooth stone and wood planks, right? So stone in the middle, wood planks. Bada bing, bada boom. And a bunch of those, right? And the recipe is as follows. Um, we're gonna have you here with you guys like so, and then you guys in everything but the corners. Now here's the deal with this. If you fill up all the crafting grid, it will automatically start crafting once it's full. So had I not had these corner pieces here, this would start crafting right now. However, I do have those corner pieces there. So for example, if you wanted to do something like with Batania, right, where you're making mystical petals, right? What you could do is you could just place one crafter in the world and then every time you, you drop any kind of mystical flower into that crafter, it would say, I'm only one crafter, I only need to craft this into this, I can start now. And you wouldn't have to do anything, right? So that's some cool stuff that you can do with this. Um, but what I'm gonna do, because I have 25 of these guys, is I can use a redstone signal to initiate the craft. Uh, so just apply a redstone signal to any of these mechanical crafters and boom, dun dun, dun dun. Like I said, everything's moving down and then everything's gonna move to the left, dun dun. Dun, dun. And this would move a little bit faster had I not slowed down the thing, but stress and all. And now it's like, all right, cool. I'm gonna make myself a fancy little crushing wheel. Beautiful. Now these crushing wheels are big. I mean, they're not that big, but they're big, right? That's like a three by three block space, give or take each. So that's pretty big, it's decent, it's decent size. Uh, they also use a hefty amount of stress impact. So you can see the stress impact is high, eight times the RPM. So keep that in mind. Um, this will, these things make lots of stuff. You can use it for ore doubling if you want. Uh, it winds up doing a little bit more than double, but not quite triple is what you wind up getting from it. Um, and there's a bunch of other things you can do with it, obviously. But what we're gonna do is use it for a collagen. So here's my thoughts. Um, what I could do is I could have cobblestone being broken somewhere, like here-ish, right? And it's gonna get dropped on a belt. Um, and then what we could have is like a bunch of belts that are splitting it all. Um, let me get more shafts. Missing andesite, really? Really, I ran out of andesite of all things? All right, not really missing, just didn't put enough in there. Let's get 30 more shafts now. Thank you. And then what we could have is basically each of these belts, um, the cobblestone that goes on them will be split uh, like so among multiple belts. Okay. And that could be a pretty cool cobble gen, right? And then we could have each one of these belts doing something like the cobblestone belt would just go into a drawer and I'm done, right? Whereas the gravel belt would feed into the grinding gears somehow. And then half of the gravel that gets produced would then be fed into the gears again. Uh, and that would be cool, right? Uh, and that would turn it into sand. Right? And then half the sand would go into a belt, the other half would go into a smelter. Right, uh, And then also some of the cobblestone would go into a smelter uh, to turn into smooth stone. 
Uh, and then some of the sand would also go into water to turn into clay. Could be cool. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now I'm hoping that I have like enough room in here to do this because this is probably going to be a relatively large build. So let's start simple-ish and then go on from there-ish. So what I'm going to do is get cobble itself going. Um, and we'll just get cobble, smooth stone, and gravel started-ish. And we'll see how that goes. Now, I'm not super duper sure how this is going to work out, but we will figure it out one way or another. Um, what I want to probably do is something like that. Yes. And then, and then you're cool. And you're spinning the direction I kind of want you to spin, which is good. Right? Now, let's just get some of these fan, some of these things going. Because I want to talk about how this is going to work. Okay, I'm pretty sure that looks cool. Now, what we want from create... And I might want to program this in because I'm sure I'm going to be using a lot of these. Is going to be andesite tunnels or do we want the brass tunnels? These can filter and split. Yeah, I think the brass ones is what we're going to want. I thought I made a bunch of extra patterns. Maybe I didn't. Oh, we're missing sand again. See, this is why we need a cobble works, folks. This here is where we need a cobble works. So what we're going to do is make just like a few patterns. Is 10 enough? Can I get 10? I think so. Cool. And then we can get you added to the thing. And that should be cool. So brass tunnels are super cool, right? So that's what we want, brass tunnels. This will allow me to do splitting. And I think what we'll do is just demonstrate how the splitting mechanic is going to work. But if I do that, these tunnels are all linked now. Okay, <clears throat> and if I were to uh, feed items into these tunnels, like so, uh, with this and this, we're going to have to figure out how I want this to work, but uh, probably something like, hmm. Okay, vertical gearbox like so. And then maybe gearbox and vertical here. Aha! Nice. Cool. But I want you reversed, don't I? Yeah, because I want you going that way. So I'm going to have to fix that. So what if we went down one more? Would that work? And then give us a regular gearbox and then a vertical gearbox. Vertical, vertical. And then we can reverse that to that. And that would work. That works. Yeah? Cool. Now let's take a look at these things because they're cool. Uh, so with this mode, when multiple outputs available split, forced split, round robin, forced round robin, prefer nearest, randomize, synchronize inputs, all right, so what we want is split, and I'm pretty sure that'll do what we want. So let's simulate blocking it. So let's simulate full drawers, right? So if I drop cobblestone on there, it'll do one, two, three. One, two, three. Now, if you're full, There's one probably there, yes. And I'm gonna 
do that. Now in split mode, it'll keep sending here. So let's pretend like this is the cobblestone door, right? Now all the remaining cobblestone will go towards turning into, let's say, smooth stone. Uh, and that's pretty cool, right? Uh, so what we can have is uh, some kind of hopper or dropper or something like a shoot maybe. Would a shoot do this? Is a shoot what I'm thinking of? Uh, a shoot might work. So if we had a shoot here and we had cobblestone here and we broke cobblestone, that goes like that, right? Now part of it's going into my inventory because of magnet. Yeah, cool. So I can set up like a cobble gen right here and make it so that it doesn't like, you know, go flying. And that should be cool. I like that kind of a plan. I think that sounds neat. I think that sounds neat. What do you guys think? Okay, that sounds cool. So we want this on split mode and then it'll make cobblestone. And then what we'll wind up doing is we'll do something like, like smooth stone, cobblestone, gravel. And then we will feed that gravel into a second system that then gets split for sand, glass, well, sand and gravel. And then the sand will be split into sand, glass, and clay. That sound cool? I like that plan. I like that a little bit. I think that's cool. And I'm gonna use a drill here, a mechanical drill, like so from create, which is good times. So if I shift click here, it should be facing that way. Perfect. Cool. And uh, we're gonna have to figure out how to get this guy in the appropriate spacing, but I mean, I'm sure I could figure something out. Um, doesn't super matter where he goes, to be honest with you. So what I could do is that. And how about this? Cool. So now what'll happen is every time cobble is placed here, boom, cool. And what's nice is it seems to drop immediately downwards, as opposed to with my pick, where it was like being less good about that. Cool. So it's a little bit less random. And that seems pretty neat. Uh, what do you guys think? Does that sound like a good start? All right, let's do this. Um, let's wrap up the episode here, and we'll come back next time and proceed to make the cobble gem. All right. For now, Dull20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we automated Rose Quartz and we got Crusher Wheel, among other things. So hopefully that was cool. We checked out how brass tunnels work. Cobble Gen coming up next. All right, guys. Take it easy.